Hi guys and welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where today we are taking a look at a mod we previously covered called Archipelago Universalis. Now last time we covered it, it was only Europe that was islands and now you can see the amount of curse that has been put upon this game by this mod. It's so cursed. Everywhere is islands. Every single province guys, including all the colonial lands everything even the wastelands are islands all of this as well is east uh, is inland seas so please remember that as well with this of course there are a lot of changes to gameplay now please note that you should play this on 1.32 apparently otherwise the ai doesn't naval invade but that's perfect for us because we're going to jump into portugal because i'm thinking whether we could get to the East Indies pretty quickly with this mod <laughs> or not, I don't know. And how the colonial system works, because that surely is pretty affected by something like this. <laughs> but yes, it's uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Oh god, look at the HRE, <laughs> look at the HRE! Oh. <laughs> right, I'll jump into the game, guys, as Portugal, and we'll see what fun we can have. So, here we are as Portugal, guys, and as you can see, nothing's happened here at all. But yes, we have expansion and exploration and offensive, just to see some of these mechanics in action very quickly. And as you can see, we can actually protect trade pretty handily in some of these places. Let's have a look. If we uh, protect trade... You can see Seville, Safi, and Tunis, uh, Tunis are the options. But I'm sure you can protect trade in a few other places inside these nodes as well. Which is kind of crazy <laughs> to think about. You can have huge trade power in one of these inland nodes, which is crazy. And on top of that, if we look at our exploration, so we go to explore. You can see all of these standard... Areas, but then mod East Europe Sea region, mod North Africa Sea, mod Middle East Sea. So let's try the Middle East Sea and see what happens, guys, and see where they end up. Of course, we're not really doing anything else, I'm just showing off some of the mod. And I wonder whether if we can do that, we can just go and colonize any land down here. That would be interesting. So here's our ship, guys. Here it is on the way. Let's see. Oh, I don't care about any of these events. Stop popping up. And you can see he's exploring through Karakunlu and Akionlu. No problems whatsoever. That is pretty cool. <laughs> so there's a lot of options for colonial expansion in this mod. This is probably the best use for the mod altogether. Uh, completely. Colonial expansion is a really, really uh, strong, strong way to go in this mod, I guess. Uh, look at it, <laughs> all the way through the Arabian Peninsula, <laughs> down to the south of the Arabian Peninsula, Jesus, there is a lot going on, look at him go, we can just explore the whole world, we don't need to wait for maps or anything like that, that is cool <laughs> as hell, but in a second guys, I'll rejoin you when we are back having West Africa, and we'll see whether we can just colonize some of the land right in the middle there. So, as you can see, guys, we can now see all of North Africa going down into Southern Africa. And we can even send our colonists over here all the way to Alango. How crazy is that? We can colonize Tuat as well without having to worry about anyone in the middle. And come and, tr uh, come and colonize over here at Kobe. So, it's a really overpowered way of probably playing this mod. But as you can see, it's pretty cursed. It is cursed. <laughs> My tryptophobia is going crazy right now, looking at this. Going absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, but you can expand all across the world, guys. All across the world. And let's keep going. Let's try, keep trying to expand. It is a very cool idea. It's very interesting. As I said, play, you need to play on 1.32, I think, because the AI won't navally invade uh, on this version of the game i don't think it knows what's going on with the islands <laughs> oh not hunting pirates bro get on the exploration 
And let's go for the South Africa Sea region, maybe, or the India. Let's go for India and see whether we can get all the way across to India and even colonizing down there if we could. Um, obviously, it'd be nice if we could get these up and full straight away so we can expand across the whole world. Let me know down in the comments below, guys, if you want me to do a bit of a edited playthrough of this mod where I kind of do a chain colonization across the whole world because <laughs> that would be quite fun quite a fun challenge see whether we could get to california um as quick as possible how quick can you get to california in this mod it'd probably be relatively quick looking at it very very quick indeed it also allows you to come close to all these guys and start fabricating claims on them as well oh my god we can see india all of india there's bahmanes there's vajanagar <laughs> Oh, hello, England. Royal marriage. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so it, it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. <laughs> but it's such an overpowered way of playing on this mod, expanding through this. Obviously, you can do the standard, go for conquest. But it will be hell, guys. It will be hell. <laughs> Navally invading everyone else, trying to beat their armies. You're just probably better trying to destroy their armies with your boats uh, rather than navally landing. Because how hard will it be to take, uh, you know, level three forts in mountains when you're navally invading? Like, <laughs> that will just be almost impossible. So you managed to get to the North, uh, North Indian node. Let us see. Where should we go? We can go China Sea. Let's go for that already. <laughs> 1451 guys <laughs> this is just silly this is just silly but i don't know it's cursed and cool at the same time i would say cursed and cool <laughs> i don't know whether that's mutually exclusive or not but i don't know i just don't know at this point <laughs> right guys i'll join you back when we are able to start colonizing in the china sea <laughs> One thing you can see, guys, look how satisfying it is when he discovers all these new provinces. <laughs> watch this. If nothing pops up, for God's sake, watch it just pop in. It's just so satisfying to see. <laughs> oh, it's really satisfying. But then again, it's not that satisfying because you just see how cursed it is in general. <laughs> oh, I don't know, it's pretty satisfying watching all those provinces pop in at once. Pretty, pretty satisfying, guys, I would say. So we have our first colony completion, guys, down here at Lango, near Ethiopia, south of Ethiopia in the Ugandan belt, I guess you would call it. Um, pretty interesting. That's probably Kenya, isn't it? More like Kenya. So around Kenya. And hopefully when we explore this area, which we should be able to explore now, we can go and colonize into the Indian Ocean, which would be amazing. Oh, this is glorious. This is the way to play this mod, guys. Trust me. Trust me. Here we go, guys. Now you can see that an inland node can be protected. Look, the Ethiopia node over here can be protected. Um, even though it's inland, but of course it's no longer inland, is it? Oh god. <laughs> Here we are, guys. We can expand all the way to Comoros in 1458. Of course, we didn't cheat at all to get here. <laughs> but, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. I wonder whether we can get all the way to Holohavi. Oh my god, we can. Oh, this is glorious. You can just expand across the whole map, no problem. You don't need to go around the Horn of Africa. You can just go through, through everywhere. <laughs> and you could chain all the way to California this way as well. I don't know whether that would be a good idea, but <laughs> it's ridiculously strong, is what I'm saying. It is ridiculously strong. Well, guys, I think we're going to leave that there for today anyway. I just wanted to show you this map, guys, and have a little fun and see... Whether you could expand very quickly as a colonial nation. It's obviously very possible. Please let me know down in the description below whether you'd like a bit of a playthrough of this. An edited one. Um, you know, a few hours edited down to 20 to 40 minutes. That would be uh, kind of fun. And I would be interested in that. Even though my tryptophobia is going mental right now looking at this. <laughs> oh, God. It's kind of cursed, but it's also kind of cool. I like the idea. It does change up the map completely, obviously, and it changes the gameplay so very much. Um, 
Surrender of Maine happened and England seeded it. What idiots, man. What idiots. But the problem is, at the minute, you need to play on 1.32 because AI doesn't know what to do if you don't. So if you do want to do expansion and that, play on 1.32 rather than the current, uh, the current iteration of the game that I'm playing right now. Um... So that is everything, guys. Let me know what you think of the mod down in the description, down in the comments below. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Very ambitious, I know. But if you can help out, that would be amazing. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.